Thank you, everybody. I, I want to thank you for, uh, for being here today. Uh, I want to thank uh, Tom Grilk from the BAA, uh, Commissioner Grass um, from the Boston Police Department, Commissioner Finn from the Fire. Um, we have uh, Chief Hooley from e Boston EMS, uh, Chief Green from the MBTA Police, um, Shermaine Benford from the Emergency Management, uh, Gina Fandaka uh, from the Boston Transportation Department, uh, Ken Bursett, I think I got Joe, um, I think I got almost everyone. Um, I also want to just say, f for the press conference sake, uh, the woman to my left who's always here, Gina Fandaka, this will be our last press conference because she's leaving us and going to use, uh, Austin. So I just want to point that out to everybody because um, a lot of people say, who's the woman to your left? It's Gina Fandaka, Transportation. Um, we had three days away from the 123rd running of the Boston Marathon. Uh, we've been busy getting ready for this, making sure that uh, it's safe, successful, and enjoyable, that everyone will have an opportunity to have an enjoyable experience. We have a comprehensive safety plan in place for the Marathon Monday and for all of the events uh, leading up to the Marathon, uh, which start really today. Uh, we'll be activating our Emergency Operations Center to coordinate with all of our city and state agencies. Uh, we've been working closely with the BAA and our neighboring cities and towns and state and federal partners. Everyone has been incredible uh, working as one unit to, to move forward here. Uh, police and fire uh, and EMS will have a large presence on, in Boston on the Marathon Route as well as other agencies throughout the entire Marathon Route from Hopkinton all the way to Boston. As always, we're going to maintain uh, our normal staffing levels in our neighborhoods and throughout the city of Boston. So as we see uh, a, a larger presence in Boston, we are going to be still covering all of our districts to make sure that uh, everyone in the city of Boston is safe that day. Throughout the weekend, we're going to have some road closures and uh, parking restrictions in, in downtown Boston. We're asking people to go to boston.gov slash marathon for a full list uh, so you'll know that we, you can and can't come into town. Uh, we have... Um, we're asking people to leave their cars at home this weekend. If you come in town, take public transportation, uh, or you can walk or bike in. Uh, but it's important for us, we want to try and keep cars off the street because uh, a lot of the restrictions that are in place will cause traffic jams throughout the city. Uh, we're also offering, uh, there's also offering a special commuter rail day pass, which uh, Chief Green can talk a little bit about, a little, a little more about the MBTA. Uh, if you uh, also want to get more information, you go to mbta.com slash marathon for more information. On race day, there are things that everyone can do to help. Uh, in the case of overcrowding, we will, be cl we will close down certain areas and reroute pedestrians uh, during the parade, during the marathon route. So if we see where there's overcrowding and it becomes a safety factor, we're gonna, we're gonna reroute people away from that area. We're asking people to cooperate so everything runs smoothly. If somebody asks you to move, uh, just just move. No, no, no need to fight back, no need to push back. Just move if somebody's asking you to move, there's a reason for it. Uh, I want people to remember this, drinking and smoking marijuana in public is not allowed. Uh, we will not tolerate drinking in public. We will not tolerate smoking marijuana in public. This is a, also a family event. There'll be a lot of kids in town and a lot of people bringing their kids in. So what they don't need is to have their kids uh, experiencing uh, an unpleasant situation. Um, as always, we're asking people, if you see something out of the ordinary, uh, say something, grab a public safety personnel, grab somebody uh, in, in, a, in one of the race officials, let us know what's going on if you see something. Uh, our police, fire, and EMS are there to help and assist on this day. Uh, it's one of the best days in the city of Boston, so we're asking people to, to enjoy themselves. Uh, right now, the forecast calls for rain. Uh, due to the weather, the BAA is offering deferments to 138 registered participants. Uh, wheelchair athletes, hand cycle, du um, duos, and athletes who uh, use pr uh, prosthetics. Uh, if any athlete chooses not to compete, in the, B the BAA will guarantee them a spot next year. Uh, Tom Grilk is going to talk more about uh, this particular situation uh, in a few minutes. Uh, before I hand it off, I just want to say one word about One Boston Day. It's also Monday. Since the tragedy in 2013, the marathon has taken on a special significance here in the city of Boston. One Boston Day is a citywide day of service and reflection. Uh, this year, we're also finalizing construction of permanent markers near the finish line on Boylston Street. So we're asking people, encourage people to recognize One Boston Day in a way that's meaningful to them. Simply could be buying somebody a cup of coffee, holding a door for somebody. Just remember, we're going to we're taking what happened on, on in 2013 and turning into a, a positive in the city. Uh, we're asking you also, if you, on that day, reach out to your neighbors, somebody who's in need, help spread the message of positivity. Um, if you have, want more information on that, you go to onebostonday.org for more information. Um, I'm confident that Monday's going to be a great day in the city. I want to thank our partners again in law enforcement, 
uh, state and federal agencies, BAA, and our neighboring cities and towns for, for an amazing coordination of, of, of getting this uh, parade, getting this parade, keep calling the parade, getting this marathon route up and running and ready to go. I want to say good luck to all the, all the runners, all the racers uh, who are coming here from all over the world, uh, but also the Bostonians. Uh, I'm cheer I want to ch we're going to be there to cheer you on. Uh, we're going to have a, a brief speaking point. Commissioner Gross is going to come say a few words. Uh, Chief Green is going to say a few words, and then we're going to, we're going to fin finish it up with Tom Grilk from the BAA. So, Commissioner. Thank you, Your Honor. Folks, just for clarification, I won't be running the marathon like former Commissioner Evans. Okay? I'll be running it in another capacity. Um, thank you, Your Honor. The mayor went over several speaking points, and not to be redundant, I won't repeat several of those. But folks, this is 123rd running of the Boston Marathon. And this is a family day. It's an international event. Everyone's coming from all over the world. So let's be respectful to each other. As the mayor just alluded to, no public drinking of alcoholic beverage or no smoking of anything. Smoking prohibited. But again, it's a family day. It's a great day for the city of Boston. And we just wanted to remind everyone to be respectful of each other. We will be working in partnership with our state, local, and federal uh, law enforcement agencies to ensure that this 123rd marathon is as safe as it can be from Hopkinton to Boston. With that being said, you will see uniformed officers, there will be plainclothes officers, and there will be undercover officers from all of the aforementioned. As well, it's important to note that our neighborhoods of Boston uh, will be fully staffed as well with, with police. The entire police department will not be downtown at the marathon. The neighborhoods, again, will be covered as well. I have here a couple of things I'd like to mention um, for street co closings. To assist with securing the marathon route, all traffic leading into the marathon route east and west of Mass Ave will be closed at 8 a.m. on Monday. The road closures will remain in effect until about 5.30 p.m. As well, Charles Street will be closed very early as buses taking runners out to Hoptington will leave from Boston Common at 5.45 p.m. As well, there will be a Red Sox game. I don't know if it'll be canceled or not. But if you're going to that game, expect to, uh, you should expect to travel there earlier. Because guess what? There's a marathon. Parking's going to be limited. There will be street closures. So leave early to get to the game. And again, that's a family event, too. Let's be mindful of that. And after the game ends, usually we have a large crowd that heads down to uh, Kimmore Square. And again, be mindful of each other. Be respectful, because it's going to be very crowded. But something you may have seen last night um, in the news about drones, we will have technology in place as a result of our partnerships with state, local, and federal agencies uh, for drone detection. Um, there will be no um, drones being flown against the law, against FAA policy. So we have not authorized anyone to fly drones, so please adhere to that. And in closing, we anticipate this to be a great day. Bring your weather gear. It's going to be a little rainy out, maybe windy, but it's going to be a great day because this is Boston. And let's not forget the heroes um, that lost their lives. I'm wearing this tie today representing law enforcement, civilians and law enforcement that have lost their lives. Um, Sean Collier in law enforcement and Sergeant Simmons as well. And um, again, folks, we know what happened before. Let's be each other's eyes and ears. This is our city, our marathon. Let's look out for each other. Thank you. Chief Green. Thank you, Commissioner. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here and uh, helping us to get our message out to our, to our public. 
Um, there was no intelligence, credible or otherwise, that would suggest that the MBTA or the marathon itself are targets. Uh, we are all well prepared for this event, as we are for every event, and I'm confident in our training, and more importantly, in our collective experience for these events. Many of the strategies that the MBTA uh, Transit Police will employ will be obvious to our riding public, such as an increase in our riding public, uh, excuse me, increase in our uniform uh, officers, as well as an increase of our explosive detective unit, detection units uh, deployed, as well as our uh, um, well-trained uh, SWAT officers. Um, but there are, will be many uh, behind-the-scenes measures that will not be obvious to our uh, riding public as well. Regarding service on Marathon Monday, um, Copley Station will be closed, uh, as well as the Berkeley Street side of Arlington Station. That will be closed as well. If more information is needed, please uh, access our website at, at mbta.com, uh, where you will get the most up-to-date uh, information. Also, um, we encourage everyone coming out to the marathon to utilize the MBTA transportation system and to enjoy the day. And remember, if you see something, say something. Thank you. Now we'll have uh, Tom Grilk from the BAA. Mr. Mayor, thank you. Uh, first and foremost, for me, for us at the BAA, uh, I come to express the gratitude, not simply of us, but of 30,000 runners, 10,000 volunteers, and hundreds of thousands of spectators for the support provided by all of the agencies represented here, as well as at the state level, federal level. Uh, without all of that, this couldn't happen. With all of that support, Runners come from around the Commonwealth, around the country, and around the world, knowing that they will have the safest and best experience they can find anywhere. Uh, we know that we are uniquely privileged to partner with everybody and everyone's agency that is represented here. It is magnificent. Uh, to move to what the mayor spoke of before, offering deferrals to 138 athletes, uh, to look at it more broadly for just a moment, uh, the forecasts that we have received from the National Weather Service through yesterday morning called for largely a repeat of last year, cold, wind-driven rain. That forecast may be moderating just a bit today as to temperature, but we all live here in Boston and in New England. We know that forecasts change. So with that forecast yesterday, uh, we decided that it was important to take measures uh, to support the safety of runners. So we have done a great many things, including enhancing facilities here in Boston and along the course, uh, and providing uh, a great many buses to be moved around out along the course that can be a place for athletes to go and take a, a measure of comfort if they need it so as not to overwhelm medical stations. A, a great deal has been done. In particular, uh, when we look at data from last year's race and the athletes who were most affected by that weather, and the easiest measure of that is their dropout rate, uh, it was athletes in push rim wheelchairs uh, and uh, using other equipment that involved either wheels or some uh, special contact with the ground. So what we decided yesterday um, was that we should take some measures for those athletes whose participation is uniquely affected by this weather, as we saw last year. And that is particularly athletes whose participation involves the use of special equipment that limits or affects their contact with the ground, whether it's wheels uh, or prosthetics. The people with wheels are push-rim wheelchair athletes, uh, athletes in hand cycles, uh, what we refer to as duos, uh, where one person pushes another, think of the Hoyts, they are the, uh, the archetype, uh, as well as athletes who are competing using prosthetics, which are also affected by this weather. Uh, it's a modest number, the total is 138, and if the weather continues to moderate, perhaps not too many will choose to defer, but we wanted to give them the option, the choice to be as safe as they could be. Uh, it is their participation that is unique and different from everyone else's. But beyond all of that, the message is one of, of gratitude. Uh, 30,000 people are coming here to run, helped by 10,000 people along the way as volunteers, all of whom know that they can do what they're doing, knowing that they don't have to worry about their own safety and knowing that 
hundreds of thousands of people will be out there to cheer for them, to give them an experience that is the envy of runners around the world. It's not an accident that when one travels around the world, the shirts and jackets that one sees come from the Boston Marathon. And it is the people of these agencies and others that enable that. And our gratitude could not be deeper. Thank you, Tom. And we're also joined by Superintendent Ridge that I didn't introduce in the beginning. Uh, any questions? Each year prior to the marathon, there are multiple scenario reviews involving local, state, federal agencies coordinated through the Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency. Uh, and we examine all contingencies and develop uh, plans for those. As recently as the beginning of this week, uh, there was such a session, and one of the discussions involved the possibility of lightning, as we've discussed it before. Uh, the difficulty with all of these scenarios is one never knows exactly how they'll develop. Uh, so what one does is focus on the most effective communication uh, to address it. In the case of, of lightning, it could very well involve moving runners off the course uh, uh, in order to, to get them to centers that have been pre-established where they can go or onto buses if we, uh, we can move buses to places. Uh, uh, there are a number of things that one can do. But there's no easy way to predict what it might be. It is entirely situation dependent. And it's for that reason that great emphasis is placed on uh, effective communication among all necessary agencies. Well, there are the department might get around any place to set up for them to run through. Our, our focus has to be on the, uh, on, on the athletes. Uh, it's difficult enough to address the needs of, of, uh, of all of them. Uh, and spectators, uh, number one, are smart. Uh, they know to take cover if necessary. And people who are, one thing we've seen about people who live along the route is they are quick to provide help to others, uh, runners or spectators. Oh, hold on, hold on a second. Let me just have sure. So as he, as he mentioned earlier, there are a number of different, uh, there are a number of different efforts that are put in place uh, to deal with the different scenarios. Um, and obviously we can't prepare for all of them, but we have a contingency plan and a uh, pretty extensive plan that, uh, com that relies on coordination of resources. And most importantly, those 10,000 volunteers that he talked about coordinating and uh, communi communicating that message down the line to the field to be able to work through it. The uh, Massachusetts, Emergency Management, uh, Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency um, is, would be the coordinating agency to get that message out, but again, across the jurisdictions along the parade route, that message would be communicated down, and there are extensive uh, and strategic plans that are in place to deal with these different scenarios. Uh, and as he mentioned earlier in the week, uh, we worked through one of the scenarios that actually spoke to uh, a lightning placed event. So I think that we're well positioned to be able to respond to it again. Um, the key, uh, and, and particularly for the spectators as well, um, and there are a number of different uh, areas that we can push them to uh, along the route throughout the jurisdictions with regards to uh, safe havens for people to go uh, to uh, if we encounter that event. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, Tom, my question is actually kind of almost a follow-up, but last year was pretty dreadful on the course for runners, spectators, those of us working, everything. Was there ever any consideration <coughs> giving to push me back a day on Tuesday? I know that that's like moving mountains, of course, but I was wondering. A, 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 as a practical matter, the marathon is run on Patriots Day or it's not run. Uh, it's a holiday. Tuesday is a day when people need to go to work and, and the event goes through eight cities and towns where people need to conduct their lives. So it's Patriots Day or it's not. And I think part, part of the, I mean, I'm not a runner, but it's a marathon. Uh, <laughs> as you can tell I'm not a runner. Um, you know, some days it's, it's 80 degrees out there, and it's difficult on the runners. It's great for the spectators. It's difficult on the runners. Some days it was like last year. And uh, I've talked to some runners that said last year was their best marathon ever because the, the weather just kept them moving. So it was good. Any other questions? On the one Boston day, just double-checking. Is there going to be a uh, replaying ceremony or, or any of those? No, because the 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 the, the, uh, the route will be uh, being prepared for the uh, for the for the marathon. So uh, there will be a breakfast. We do a breakfast for the families. Uh, Mayor Walton, <coughs> looking at the different topics, Donald Trump has been at the, uh, the news talking about releasing every day. Talking <laughs> uh, about releasing detainees at the uh, borders of sanctuary cities, and what, uh, do you have any comment on that? And Not really. I, I don't even know what that means. Um, I don't even know what that means. I, I was down in um, 
I was in Phoenix, I was in Arizona a couple weeks ago, and I was talking to some mayors down there where um, sometimes when the ice facilities get full, uh, they bring, literally draw people off at bus stops, and we're just talking, how do you handle that? And uh, I, I don't even know if, if the president knows what he's talking about with that. I have no idea what that means. Um, it, it's kind of intuitive to what he says. I mean, he he's, doesn't want immigrants in the country, and now he's going to draw people off in, in cities around America. I don't, I don't understand what, even know what that means. Commissioner Gross, you brought up the drones. Uh, I'm yes. just curious if there's anything more on the investigation at Fenway. As to last night, uh, somebody might have No, there is an active investigation with the FAA and the BPD. Um, that's all I can tell you at this time. But uh, as soon as we get something, we'll definitely let you know because we want to send a clear-cut message to everyone that there is no authorized flying of drones over any major events at all. Um, the FAA doesn't allow it. BPD, state police, we don't want that to take place. So definitely, if that investigation leads someone to um, being brought to justice, you will definitely, definitely know because we need to send that message. So thank you. Or if the person is caught, who did fire the drone, what, what sort of penalties do they face? The FAA will set that. So I don't have that at this time, but I can make it available to you. Quick, I think it was the human element of preparing for the marathon. It was mentioned before that you know, BPD takes takes this date personal. Um, yes. Um, or your thoughts on just what? Well, we're I don't think today. it's just the BPD. It's our city. The nation began here in Boston. We don't like things happening in our city. When cowards come forth and kill innocent people, that were enjoying um, a worldwide event hosted in our city. So, as I alluded to earlier. It's just to let everyone know we are all each other's eyes and ears and to watch out because there are folks hell-bent on harming others. There, those folks are called terrorists. So one thing terrorists hate is that when we're all together, there's no break in communication, there's no break in our, our vigilance, and that, um, that we're, we're working together to ensure that this event is safe for everyone because we'll all be looking out for each other. Yeah, this is a, just a fan, this is an amazing weekend in Boston. Um, so just everyone go out and have fun. Uh, come into the city. Um, it's just it's just one of those weekends that uh, I really enjoy as, as mayor. Um, and, and before that, but um, starting tomorrow, Swan Boats opening at ten. We have a, a race at seven thirty. We have the youth relay race on Boylston Street. We have so many great events tomorrow in the city. So just come on in and, and enjoy the city of Boston. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.